Okay, I'm here with Ocean Lake Coordinator Colin Phil, and he's going to instruct us on how to raise the sail and then shunt the sail on the Tamanu Outrigger canoe. Okay, first up, we're going to raise the mast. What we've already got is we've got the backstays already connected to the mast. Flipping this on, this is the, the mast strut that holds the mast up. Just a quick release. Okay, so that clips on. And then, so once that's clipped on, this is your, your shroud. So this is what you've got to watch because this is clear and not wrapped around anything. And then we've got a bridle here and a loop already in place. And we're just doing a couple of half hitches. It doesn't need to be too much tension on there because this, this is uh, providing the extra tension to hold the mask up. And so this mast pivots. And it's got stoppers on the pulley so it won't go. It won't go far as it needs to. And we're always sailing with the mast leaning towards the direction we're sailing. Here we have a mast retainer down the bottom here. Just a safety option to keep the mast from popping out of the base. That's our half pitches. And that's all you need. Okay, we get the sail up. Raising the main sail. As high as we can, right to the top of the mast. It's very important. And it's a good idea to get this rope out of the way, avoid any tangles. And that's all we need. It's out of the way. The green line here is the shunting line or a tacking line. You'll notice that it's very hard to get it to the bell, the new bell, so we're going to move the mast with it. Then it reaches. There we go. Lock this on the clip. Main sheet goes back onto the onto the ring, and we're ready to go. Sailing again. So one more shunt now. Okay. The main sheet has to be unclipped. Challenge is that it's got a shunting rig. The shunting rig is basically uh, a double-ended canoe. So modern yacht tax through the eye of the wind. Uh, these canoes basically just change direction. It's still a very good paddling canoe, so if, if in doubt, if you get into any gust of wind or trouble, drop the sail and paddle until you you feel confident again. My inspiration actually came from a guy called Gary Durkin who has been building professional canoes using modern materials. We tweaked it for our own conditions. Yeah, it's all designed around being suitable for the race but then having this afterlife. My grandfather and my great-grandfather were canoe builders they'd be very proud, particularly for our people to see so many canoes on the water.